then always had his little little tactics board out, <laughs> um, which wasn't you know it was never big enough. <laughs> it was literally this. It was literally that size, and, and like he moved things around on it, and that it, explains a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Well. Didn't really change. Did yeah. it? No, not a lot changed. <laughs> but there was no room on the board, so it all yeah, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that was our problem. Yeah. No room on the board. So you mentioned the board with Sven. What mm. else was in his team meetings? We had a group of players there, obviously well known as the golden generation. And the players were so good that it was... I don't, I don't know if it needed a, a, maybe a stronger manager. Like, obviously he's managed at top teams and stuff like that, but like... His way was sort of go and let us play. Um, and for me, I love... It was good for me, that. Because like, as I, as I explained before, like I was concentrated on my job and stuff like that. But I think, I don't know, structurally and tactically, like there was ways that we could have, you know, got the best players into the team. You know, we were so strong in like central midfield. We could have got, you know, we could have played three at the back, for instance, or wing backs, or, um, you know, we could have played with some more flair players going forward. It was a, such a rigid sort of 4-4-2 formation. Um, and I, yeah, my, my worry was that we, we probably didn't have, you know, his, his team meetings weren't probably as good as they should be, you know, but it's difficult for me to say that because I, he gave me my England debut, he believed in me and um, you know, I don't want to look like a turncoat, but I just, I felt like maybe a stronger leader at that time could have been the difference, maybe. So was it like, you know, you'd, you'd have your Gerrards and your Lampards and would they talk about what we were going to do in that game against that opposition or how would that sort of come about? Yeah, that was like, like I say, I think it was too much policing of of our own getting done. And like you say, in that dressing room there, you've got so many characters and so many opinions that that can become fragmented. You sort of, you maybe need someone to say, this is what, how we're playing, you know, rather than the... the leaders in the dressing room sort of taking more more control of that and that was where player power comes in um, but if we'd had I don't know and I think that then we said that and we had Capello which was you know which was a, you know that's why we went from Spencer Capello and that didn't work so you know maybe maybe it wasn't that but it was something that I felt that it could have certainly that World Cup in 2006 when you look at the team we had. But then there's individual errors and mistakes that are made in there that you can't legislate for tactically, but you just sort of never know, do you? It wasn't um, a huge amount on tactics. Um, it wasn't a huge amount on sort of the way we play. It was a case of, you know, you're all top players, you know, play like you do at your clubs for, for England. And unfortunately, I think we see it now, like England look more... As a, as a team if you know what I mean like when when you look at them you don't see clubs the Scouse Manchester thing you know and um, you know you've got that sort of London the North thing you know like unfortunately that is how it was then it was more divisive I think as a football uh, the way football was then um, and the way I, I think the Premier League was better for it but I think the national team suffered because of it yeah because you go back to that era Super competitive in the Champions League, all the English teams. All the Premier League title races were all brilliant. But it was a lot of divisive, not divisive characters, but like characters that would create that siege mentality. Like Fergie would do it at United, Mourinho would do it at Chelsea. Arsene Wenger to a point would do it at Arsenal. But like you're saying, that doesn't bring people together. Also the way the league is now as well, like the, the top teams now are lit, you know, are littered with, with foreign players who aren't English. So... The main players at Chelsea, we can name Frank Lampard, yeah. Joe Cole, John Terry, Manchester United, Beckham, Skulls, Level, uh, but, um, you know, Liverpool, obviously Gerard Carragher. You know, mm. they're all English players in an English team that are fighting to for nail for things. And it, I, listen, it's been said before and it will be said again, but I think the Premier League was a different beast and, mm. and England was a different beast to what I see now. Question. Yeah. Do either of you two believe, Stato, legend, there is a stat that genuinely can prove hard work and represent hard work? This is a tough one, Like I think, really tough one, because you look at the... I mean, I, I did a lot of the Tottenham games under Nuno and then under Conte. And under Nuno, I think 
between the team, I think they were running 13 kilometers less, like over a kilometer a player less than under Conte, which is a hell of a lot, right? Mad. And but obviously the, the, the results reflect that, you know. But I also think that there's teams, you know, we've lost to teams previously that have run less than us. Um and they've battered us, you know. So it, it's a it's a difficult stat. I, I used to run about thirteen kilometers a game, right? So, um, which is which is a mad stat for a forward. But I was constantly on the move, and it was never really explosive, you know. Which is mad for a forward because you usually don't run as much, but are explosive. But my game was constantly being on the move, trying to get free and getting around. I was never blistering down, um, you know, in behind defences. You know, I was always just on the move and always ready for for a chance. Um, so that stat would tell you something. You know, you wouldn't actually need to run that much, you know, but mm. I did. Personally, Aubameyang wouldn't need to or Michael Owen wouldn't need to. But that was my game. And I think the running stats are, in answer to your question, I think it is misleading. Um, you know, working hard isn't necessarily the game. You need to think outside the box with this one. So when Sunday League, our manager, if we, uh, if your kit wasn't muddy enough, we were made to dive through <laughs> muddy puddles. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, you was, Peppa Pig. That was true. 